So a lot of people are going through the whole portal installation and are wondering why their portal isn't working. So it seems to be that this is the problem that everyone keeps having. As you can see, that's the portal to crack in the application folder. But when you try to double click on it, when you try to double click on it, you get this. And it just doesn't do anything. If you look at the taskbar, you get this quick little shuffle it does and doesn't open. Um, I believe I know what's the problem and I will show you the solution in a minute. Um, yeah. Hello people. I'm going to show you today how to install Portal into your computer. First of all, to start it off, what you want to do is install Steam. So this should be in the files you just downloaded. So just install Steam as normal. Agree. And you take your Steam, and put it in the Applications folder. Then open your Applications folder and let it run. Open. So you just let Steam start up, run it, and update it. So it's updating as we speak, as you can see here. It is updating Steam. Just let that run. It's applying, now it's extracting the package. Take, it takes a little time, so just give it a few. Don't mind, also, don't mind that little window in the upper left hand corner or right, depending on how you're looking at this. Um, it's just what I need to actually see what I'm doing in the recording. There we go. So, another thing here is, if you have your own folder, um, if I mean, if you have your own account, use it. You can create a new account for whatever. If you have your own, use your own. I'm going to literally use my own. I'm literally going to use my own and to make your life easier just log in now and just log in it's connecting to my account as you can see here it's always going to tell you that even if you go into offline mode that it's going to need your your credentials and it's always going to connect to Steam whether you want it to or not it's just part of the installation and just let that connect which might take another minute okay so uh, I logged into Steam, as you guys can see here. So I'm in Steam. Um, basically, you don't have to do much here. Now you know it's fully updated. You know you you did everything you needed to do. So now, also in your account, we're gonna do it now instead of later. Go into offline mode. It's gonna ask you to restart in offline mode. Yes, restart in offline mode. We're doing this now so that it saves you the trouble later of you know what do you have to do if it's stuck or if or if you get jammed somewhere we're just gonna get it all out of the way now so it's still gonna say connecting to steam account that's normal let that go so now we've logged into off <clears throat> offline mode it's gonna look the same literally the same um, except you're gonna notice this 
that says offline mode but when you go into offline mode with the crack attached or with the crack installed it's gonna look different you're not gonna see any of this or the store or whatever so now that we got that out of the way you can basically quit steam quit steam now this should be your portal all the files that you downloaded your blue luma your five zip files and your portal 2 crack and steam which you've already installed so you don't need to worry about that now what you want to do is open up the the first zip file so that all of them unlock and I did mine with stuff at expander because I find it kind of odd when I use the, when I use the built-in the built-in on extractor for some odd reason um, it, it misses a lot of folders which I find really odd so um, what you want to do first is make a new folder and name it portal 2 as so name that folder portal 2 now open up your zip files use stuff at expander I've already told you why and you unextract all of it into your portal 2 folder I have another one called portal 2 dash because that's the torrent itself that you guys downloaded but you know it would have overridden it if I made another portal 2 so that's why I just put a dash but I'm gonna restore that later but extract everything into your <clears throat> into your portal 2 folder and it's gonna say expanding so let that run it's gonna probably take about I don't know anywhere from a few minutes to close to an hour depending on how fast your computer is for me it usually takes about eh, I'd say about 10-15 minutes so when it's done extracting uh, you'll know okay so it's still expanding it's been about maybe what five minutes ten five six minutes and um, here's another thing that I've noticed that again I've said it before and I'm gonna say it now um, everybody when you extract these fo these folders right here uh, portal 2 part 1 2 3 4 and 5 you make sure you use stuff at expander Go online, download it. I don't know where to get it from, but make sure you download stuff at Expander. Because what I've noticed is when you use the internal un unarchiver or if you use unirx or either one of those two, it doesn't expand all the files. Last time I did it, but when I was getting, you know, when when I showed you that error in the beginning, I was using the internal one and I was using the on RARX um, and it only it literally only unarchived about four or five gigs where if you use stuff at expander so far so far it's it's it literally unarchived 8.3 gigs already so it's gonna be about 10 gigs you wanna unarchive so make sure make absolutely sure that you use stuff at expander it seems like the only one that works for me um, so far when it comes to the expanding process of, or expanding all five parts um, when you use the other ones it just leaves out a bunch of files so it's still expanding and yeah we're just gonna have to wait till it finishes okay so this open up blue luma and you should see these three files these are the crack files that you need to crack so now what you want to do is go into your applications folder right here find where steam is located right here right click and then show package contents in where it says contents open that up and you should see these files open Mac or Mac OS X and in here you want to drop the steam.cfg folder so just drop that in here should be fine now second of all you want to open up the OS X 32 folder which is 
right here. Open that up, and you want to drop in the. You want to open up the. You're gonna see the folder libsteam.dylb. Just drop that into the OSX32. It's gonna say replace. Replace that. Now, after that, go one back and open up your graphics. Where is graphics? It's right here. Drop Priston.tga in. It's going to say replace again. You replace it. Now, Steam is going to be all ready to go. So just pretty much close out everything. Now, so with with Stuff at Expander, you're going to see this. It's going to say portal2.part01.rar folder, right? So what you want to do is you literally want to rename it to portal2. So just do that. So once you renamed the, the unzipped file to, to portal2, that folder, Open up your hard drive, go into places on the left side, and click on your computer name. Go into library, application support, you want to open up Steam. Then in Steam, you go into Steam apps, and then you're going to see three files. But inside of here, there needs to be a common folder. So right click, new folder, and then call it C O M M O N common right as you can see right here I know it's a little blurry but it's called common open that common folder up and then drag the 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 portal to folder which is right here that you just expanded and place it inside of the folder you can close the other window out if you want so that there, while that is there, basically just close that out, and you need to go to your crack that's in the Portal 2 folder, in your original files. So take the crack, unzip that as well. You should see it right here. Put that in your application, so fo application folder, as so. That's there, and basically the installation is done. So all you have to do, start up Steam. Do, 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 do. Starting up Steam, and remember, uh, if you did it before, if you use your own, if you use your own account, cool. If you didn't use your own account, um, you made something up, whatever, cool. Um, but if it keeps bringing you back here over and over, and you haven't used an account use an account whether it's fake or real start it in offline mode it's connecting as you can see here just in case if you can't see it connecting steam account zex give that some time it should be I don't know a few seconds to a few minutes depending on how fast your computer is yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like waiting, so we're going to fast forward this through the magic of editing. Okay, so when you basically launch your Steam uh, in offline mode, it's going to say right over here, it's going to say offline mode. Another different thing is you should see is the Luma, the blue Luma. Um, that's knowing that you've cracked it and all that. So if you have... It, it, sometimes this can go crazy. Sometimes whenever you click on everything, you hear a da dong, da dong, come out of this damn thing like crazy. Don't worry about that. Just basically hide it. Just right click hide or minimize it, whatever you want. Just make sure that it is running right here, as you can see in the background. So, with that running in the background, all you basically have to do is open up Portal 2. And wait for it. Wait for it. There you go. 
and it basically should work okay. Um, just one thing you really want to make sure, you might not hear me because the, the, the video is going to play in the beginning, but um, one thing, like I said before, you want to make sure that I believe is the solution that everyone's having problems with is that um, when you're unextracting it, do not use the internal extractor or do not use unrarx because for some reason it doesn't extract all the files or for some reason doesn't want to extract every single part. So, to save you some time, just download um, uh, download uh, Stuff It Expander. It worked for me. It's perfect. And if you followed every instruction that I just showed you in this video, you should get it to work. Yeah, the intro right here that you're looking does take a while because, you know, just does. I don't know why. And there you go. It should work. Um, yeah, just as proof, I'll just go into single player really quick to show you. Just to show you that it's legitly working. Um, as you can see, I'm using a 2008 MacBook Pro. Um, and it literally runs good with on full screen, somewhat high resolution. I'm using the native resolution. And uh, which I believe is 1650 by 1050 or 1280, whatever one of those. But I'm using the native, the native resolution. So um, this should be it right about here. Just want to show you that it actually does go in game and not kind of crash out, you know, or not turn on or whatever. But I believe that was the solution why it doesn't launch for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it takes a while on my computer. Don't ask me why. And there we go. Good morning. You have been in suspension for days. So I'm just going to cancel this out, go to the main menu, exit, quit, quit, yes, I'm going to quit. And um, there you have it. So again, key pointers that you want to keep in your head when you're doing this. When you're extracting the folder, once it is done extracting, make sure that folder is at least 10.6 or 10.8 something gigs at least 10 gigs that's how you know you've unextracted everything so with that saying I'll leave it off to you guys hope it works um, if anything leave a comment below in the description I mean uh, in the comment section if it worked or not I believe this was the problem was the fact that it wasn't extracting everything properly so this, I know this was a ridiculously long video, but I had to do it because, yeah, I just wanted to show you that this, this is most likely the fix. So, yeah, enjoy. Leave me a comment, whatever, and have fun.